I'm excited to read the next chapter in our story of why Jesus came to us. This story is from the Old Testament, the book of Exodus, chapters 1 to 3. But our story starts with a passage from the New Testament, Galatians 5, 1. And here's that passage. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Here's our story from the Old Testament. Jacob's family moved to Egypt and had plenty to eat during the famine because of Joseph. There were 70 people in Jacob's family at this time. They were called the people of Israel, or Israelites. Abraham and Jacob's family kept growing and growing just as God had promised. After Joseph grew old and died, a new pharaoh ruled Egypt who did not remember Joseph. He saw how big the family of Jacob, or Israel, had become, and he was scared of them. He made them slaves. The Israelites, also called Hebrews, had to work very hard building cities and growing food. This new king of Egypt was so evil that he told the Hebrew midwives, who helped deliver the new babies, to only allow girl babies to live. But the Hebrew midwives listened to God instead of the evil king. They let the baby boys live, too. During this time, an Israelite woman had a baby boy. She hid him for three months. Then she made a special waterproof basket for him and put it on the Nile River. The baby's sister Miriam watched the basket float. Pharaoh's own daughter found the basket with the crying baby boy inside. She adopted him and named him Moses. Moses grew up in the palace of Pharaoh, but he knew he was an Israelite. He became angry about the way the Egyptians treated the Israelite slaves. Then Moses made a big mistake. He killed an Egyptian who was hurting a slave. Pharaoh became very angry with him, so Moses ran away to a place called Midian and lived there as a shepherd. In Egypt, the Israelites cried out to God, asking him to rescue them from slavery. And God heard their cries, and he was going to send a rescuer. Just as the Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, all people are slaves to sin. We all need God to rescue us. And I have a question for you as we end today. What does it mean to be a slave? And what does it mean to be free?